Hi, Rory Singh here from the PowerhouseMarketer.com. Today, uh, I want to talk about Barack's. I've uh, been getting a lot of private messages and even some comments on my YouTube channel asking me if, even though I'm not an affiliate of Barack's and I don't promote these passive investment systems because the majority of people keep getting scammed, um, I've been getting a lot of questions. So I'm going to create. Uh, I'm creating this video here to answer these questions. Uh, is there going to be any kind of one person even asked me, is there going to be an, an, a liquidation event just like Mirror Trading International had? All these things is what we're going to cover here in this quick review. Anyways, if this is your first time on this channel, uh, find the big red subscribe button and even click on the bell notification icon. That way, every single time I go live with a new piece of helpful information, you'll be one of the very first people to get access to that freshly created content. Uh, one guy... Um, one of my viewers even claimed that he invested $500,000 into Barracks and uh, got scammed. Okay, so make sure this doesn't happen to you. Subscribe and even click on the bell notification icon. That way you'll get access to this helpful information. Okay, I'm also going to ask you guys to like this video and share this video so that these type of helpful videos will be able to reach more people by getting more exposure. <clears throat> Also, if you're looking for um, a way to make money online, my number one recommended uh, affiliate marketing educational platform, you can get a link to that. First link underneath this video in the description. Um, it can teach you how to become a marketer. If you, In reality, guys, the only people who actually make money online are people uh, with skill sets, even with Barack's, um, other than the anonymous people behind Barack's. Uh, it was the heavy hitters who made... Uh, the lion shares of the profit and they only did so because they've got credibility they've got skill sets and they've got experience so platform underneath this video first link in the description will teach you how to do just that how to get credibility how to create your own website traffic how to put yourself out there most importantly how to get people to join you in your business okay powerful training and uh, legitimate opportunity set up with the Federal Trades Commission. We got a lot of retail, a lot of people coming in just for the retail aspect of it, guys. Okay, uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, Barax this is a picture of, uh, they were calling her Susan Pope. And her real name, uh, what the heck was her real, real name's not even important. But there it is. Uh, Senia Burlett, actor from Moscow. Okay, <clears throat> that's what we're dealing with here nowadays. Um, anonymous people owning these uh, passive MLM investment systems, and uh, they're business people setting up scams and uh, you know being successful with it. So, uh, Barack's website went offline, then they went back online, and then. Eventually, they came back offline again. Their YouTube channel went offline completely. A lot of people wondering, can we get our money back? Um, there was another deal called Wiseling, uh, same type of opportunity. And uh, the CEO, the named CEO, was another actor. And they used, they created the identity of uh, uh, Matthias Lapo and people... One guy even invested $750,000 worth of Bitcoin into that deal. One of my subscribers invested, I don't know how he came up with it, most likely borrowed money, uh, liquidation, etc., and even borrowed most of those funds to uh, create $500,000 deposit in Bitcoin to Susan Pope, guys, and lost it all. Even said to me, this one guy, he's like, hey, Rory, I never really liked you. I've been actually following your videos for whatever reason. I don't even know myself. That's what he says. And I never listened to you. And I kept, you know, always losing more money than I would spend in these ventures. Finally, I've lost it all $500,000. Okay. So you guys don't want these things to be happening to you. I did uh, an official... Barack's review and you know I said it right from the beginning that they would exit scam and it looked like fake people they even had um, Brandon Watts another fake identity turned out to be 
as another actor in Moscow pretending to be the CEO of Brax. <clears throat> okay, let's look at the various aspects before we get into the real deal of will you get your money back. If we go to YouTube and we type in Brax, there's a trend here. You guys can see this. Brax heavy hitters marketing who have credibility and other uh, legitimate opportunities who paid their dues let me just get my thing off there my cursor okay um and for whatever reason and whoever they are i think they i don't know if they've lost it in the head mentally or if they think they're invincible but i can't believe they're promoting scams like uh, crazy scams nowadays to their followers um look at this guy here he does uh, internet marketing reviews i can't even believe he put in 10 grand and lost it this other fellow i believe he said ninety thousand. but most of them what do they say is what do they say they say uh they're not financial experts and uh you should only put in whatever you're willing to lose that doesn't make any sense to me first of all people follow them because they think they are financial experts so even if they tell you hey we're not um i'm thinking pretty well what they're saying unconsciously or subliminally is hey i am i just don't want to be held liable uh if the, you know fbi comes looking for me or something like that so when you guys are following people online uh you know i did a video two years ago and i was talking about how people make decisions in this industry of make money online home-based business industry it links back to people's high school years. Back in high school, I remember all the kids wanted to hang with the cool kids. We want to hang with the cool kids so we can become just like the cool kids. Unfortunately, in the real world, um, where is it taking most people? I mean, one guy invested half a million dollars in Bitcoin because he wanted to be a cool kid. That sounds kind of crazy. I didn't like my videos because what? I'm promoting a training platform training platform even though it's legit and even though it's lucrative <laughs> that's not how we make decisions as adults guys i make content on this channel to help you whether you like it or not and i'm going to give you continue to give you no bullshit reviews on this channel okay if you guys want to hang out with the cool kids and lose money then go for it that's that's your perspective Now, fraud warnings. I talked about fraud warnings not that long ago, what, two weeks ago. Barack uh, made a video about fraud warning British Columbia and South Africa. Okay. Now, what happened there? A uh, bunch of disgruntled affiliates telling me, hey, the government's evil. And who cares about fraud warnings? Because the government screws everyone over anyways. Well, you know what I got to say about that? The government, they make the rules, okay? Whether we like them or not, yeah, they screw people over. But even Napoleon Hill, he's got a book called Think and Grow Rich. He said, don't hate the government because it's with their system that you will use to create your riches. So since they govern the law and they control the police and they also control the court systems and they, all control, they also control the media and they even control religion and religious leaders right um they pretty well control everything and you have a small margin where it is that you guys could go out there and create your riches so any company that starts getting fraud warnings because they're not set up legally to offer you guys a securities offering meaning a passive investment opportunity for the public right a lot of people think uk incorporation certificates are registration no that just means you have a numbered business and pretending to be in the uk you have to register with the security regulators like the fca in the uk brax initially they put in an application that's it the first step to register with the asic and that's what they went on they never officially registered with the asic and even uh, quite frankly i've heard not great things about the asic that they don't really 
Uh, they're not really that strict like the SEC in the US or the FCA in the UK or even the FSCA in South Africa, which is cracking down on these companies, including Barack's as they did in British, um, as with British Columbia, right? So British Columbia and, and uh, FSCA from South Africa, right? Issued fraud warnings. So take it serious. This, this is serious stuff, okay? It's an indicator as to whether, if they're not registered, um, with a securities regulator, government uh, division, to offer you guys a passive return to the public, then they're not set up for the long term. That's a big telltale right there. That's a red flag right there. Anonymous people behind the schemes, uh, anonymous owners, that's a red flag right there. Um, fake actors pretending to be CEO and CFO and CMO and CTO and the like, those are red flags. One uh, older gentleman, I believe he was over 65, came to my channel. And he said, hey, Rory, I don't give a shit. I just want to want to make ROI. I don't care if they're set up uh, with, with these regulators or not. Well, here's the problem. People um, are losing more than they're making unless they're a heavy hitter who doesn't care about their reputation. Isn't that what's happening, guys? Address. They must have an address. If they don't have an address, especially claiming that they're a financial organization that's going to help you get rich then that's a red flag right there. Unsustainable ROI, big red flag, 3% daily. If these guys could come up with a way to make 3%, why would they daily, they could make billions on their own. Why do they need you? Why do they need network marketing, right? That's the biggest red flag, common sense. Um, who makes money with the schemes like Barax, Wiseling, MTI? As I said, heavy hitters who have skill sets and the training that you guys need. If you don't have another guy came, uh, joined my deal like last week, one of the new people, and he's like, hey, Rory, I got to watch videos to set up the back office, set up my income streams. I don't want to do none of that stuff. I just want to click a button and, and get, you know start making money. And then I'm like, well, hmm, what are you doing right now? Oh, I'm going to university. I'm like, for how long? Oh, maybe five years. Oh, what are you going to do after you graduate? Well, if I graduate, I'm going to get a job. Well, what are you going to do at your job? Oh, I'm going to show up every day to go and work for for money in that field. I'm like, wow, you're going go to go to school for five years, and uh, then you're going to get a job, hopefully, in that field, in that profession, and then you're going to show up every single day and drive and commute easily. Like, yep, that's what I'm going to do. And I said, but you just want to come online and click a button and make money and start making money overnight yes i'm said i said does that sound right to you and then he's, he thought about it and he's like no uh i guess not okay i will put more initiative rory that's what he says okay but that is what uh, most people are thinking here online right it's it's internet it should we should we're entitled don't be entitled guys uh my wife she works for a company and they have to uh, question people and uh, most people are like, oh, we don't want to do any screening or anything like that. We just want to, you know, we just want to get what we want. That's an entitled mentality. And the great majority of people have this. And if you come online with an entitlement, you're just going to, you know, suffer from exit scam to exit scam by following pump and dump leaders who think they're invincible. And even, you know, even to them, eventually people are going to stop joining them in business Whatever you put out to the universe uh, will come back to you. I've even seen some leaders on Facebook, heavy hitters, saying stuff like, it's okay to scam uh, strangers virtually online, but uh, family and friends is a big no-no. No, if any of you guys are scamming people, meaning you're making, uh, telling them that they don't have to do anything other than joining, and they can make passive income and lots of it, then you're scamming them. Even if they're virtual, it's the same kind of karma as if you it would, you would harm someone that you loved. I've seen people bringing their family and friends into this deal who think it's legitimate. And how it works is they keep recycling funds, right? There's no uh, trading revenue. Like the 3% they claim that they're going to pay you guys. It comes from network marketing recruitment to recruit new investors to pay out the older ones until it slows down as with Barack's did because they started getting fraud warnings from the regulators. It's, it, they hit a, a huge decline 
in traffic going to their website. That is what triggered the scam exit. The authorities didn't even execute the process of shutting them down. The anonymous people pulled the plug on their own, even though they were telling people maybe it was an April Fool's joke, but they were saying something about April 1st as with Wisling. I think behind the scenes, these Russian businessmen are laughing their asses off. They probably think they found the holy grail of gold mines, which is the network marketing industry and affiliate marketing industry as well, right? A whole bunch of people willing to join anything just as long as it's offering them crazy ROI, like 3% daily. Okay, now let's talk about get your money back. Get your money back. I don't think so. Okay, someone asked me a huge liquidation event. I don't think so. Like Mirror Trading International, that's another deal. Affiliates argued with me tooth and nail for years as to why it was so legit. Then they eventually got shut down and they scammed, they collapsed, scammed, exited because the authorities, FSCA, that's the financial regulator in South Africa, was hot on their trail and it pretty well went down and they're still being investigated um they had a fake ceo was named johan right steinberg <laughs> made up identity and everyone was like johan's our, our our leader but with mirror trading res respectfully to the idea of liquidation bitcoin liquidation event that was something that the government is trying to do in the process. They are liquidating, like selling off, um, you know, assets owned by the company and the company owners. But the problem is with Barack's, um, they are not shut down by the authorities. The anonymous business people behind the scenes of Barack's, the anonymous owners, they pulled the plug on it themselves. So no one, unfortunately, is liquidating anything. That's the problem you're faced here. And I, I don't think you're going to get your money back, unfortunately, because who are you going to go after? Her? Susan Pope? I mean, she's deleting her profiles online, her real ones, right, with her real name. Um, Zenia Berlet. It's probably not pronounced right because it's supposed to be pronounced with a Russian accent. But whoever, you know, her real name, Xenia, she's deleting profiles left and right because she's in a lot of hot water. Um, but the, you guys don't know who you're going to go after. Brandon Watts, right? You can't. He's another actor, right? That's the problem. So the old guy that came to my channel, or I should say the senior man, so it doesn't sound bad, you know, elder folk came to my channel and says, I don't give a shit just as long as they pay out. Well, this is what happens. You guys get scammed out and then you, who are you going to go after brandon and susan made up identities the actress well sh good luck with that i don't think she has any funding to pay you back anything right she could be uh, getting investigated by russian authorities right now so she can't help you so my advice to you guys is you know next time if you haven't yet subscribed subscribe to this i know like you guys like to go out there in uh, youtube and get told what you want to hear right hey you can make lots of money here get rich even though i'm not a financial advisor right if you guys want to hear stuff like that well then you guys can keep going out there and, and, and you know finding the leaders to follow but if you want the real truth that's going to actually save you like that fellow who lost five hundred thousand dollars in barracks who was following my channel and just hated it but still kept watching and still didn't take my advice subscribe right now even click on the bell notification icon so that next time i do a review on the deal that you might be looking into i'll expose the red flags and you'll see it clear as day guys anyways thank you for watching this pretty well concludes this review and if you're still looking for a legitimate way to make money online and you're ready to roll up your sleeves as an active marketer, that's the only way you're going to make money online. Do it right. Work for it. First link underneath this video. 
in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.